Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cat Hipster channel. It's me, John, and today the first thing I'm going to do is ask you to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And then I'm going to ask you to continue to watch this video because what I have for you today is this bowl of ramen that I'm going to review. This is, if you recognize that uh, emblem there, is Nongshim Shin. That's what this mark here is for the Shin variety. Uh, you've seen recently I've done the gold and the green, which was the new ones that they have here in the United States. But I also went ahead and picked up some interesting ones that aren't available in the United States, at least right now, not right now, um, that I haven't had yet, so I can try them. And this one is Kimchi Shin. And looking at the ingredients, it appears to be vegetarian or vegan. Um, in the seasoning, it's just soy protein, yeast extracts. I looked it up. Yeast is actually vegan. Uh, they say it's not an animal, I guess. Uh, vegans are okay with eating bacteria, but not animals. Um, mustard, salt, sugar, spices, um, red chili peppers. The other ingredients are kim uh, kimchi Chinese cabbage flakes. There's cabbage, garlic, chili pepper, and pak choy. I think pak choy is just a, a cabbage. Um, and then in the noodles, it's just really like starches and oils, none of which are animal products. But at the bottom of the ingredients, just says, just says may contain barley, crustaceans, eggs, fish, peanuts, milk, celery, sesame seeds, and mollusks. So I'm assuming they're just putting that out there because probably manufactured in and around those other products so they're saying that those things might have floated or found their way into this mix at some point but if you're not allergic to everything that's in there then you're probably pretty safe assuming that this is for the most part vegetarian and or vegan and uh pak choy oh bok choy that's pak choy it's a plant Okay, so this says his bok choy is bok choy. All right. Anyway, I have not added anything to this. It's just the kimchi powder packet, the noodles, and the like dehydrated kimchi flakes that are already in here. So before I add anything to it, which I have some accoutrements right in front of me here that I'm going to add to it. Go ahead and try it out by itself. First, I'm going to try some of the little kimchi flakes. One good thing about bok choy is even when it's freeze dried, it still has enough like fibrous nature to it that when it rehydrates, you still get a little bit of a crunch to it. All right, let's try some of these noodles. Decent chew them. They really just taste like the typical shin noodles. Then I'm going to get just a, a sip of the broth. Now, the spice level in this is not super high. Um, it is a shin variety, so there is some red chili peppers in here. Um, but as far as like some other of the shin varieties I've had, this relatively is uh, on the low end when it comes to spice levels. Now, what am I going to add to it? Well, the most important thing I'm going to add to it is a lot more kimchi. And I'm also going to add a little bit of a laogan ma chili crisp because that just makes everything taste better. Some cilantro, or um, I believe it's uh, cardamom, or not, is it cardamom? Something like that. For most of the, the world, refers to it that way. Only in the United States, really, do they say cilantro. 
I have some mushrooms that I sauteed in some butter and other seasonings. And then I have a uh, rice seasoning that I've added to some noodles lately that I've really enjoyed. It has like um, seaweed and sesame seeds and other stuff in there as well. Now, let's go ahead and mix that up a little bit. I really think the extra kimchi and the cilantro and the chili crisp is really going to add to this dish. There you go, a little bit mixed up. First thing we're going to do is get some noodles along with one of these bigger chunks of kimchi. Um, if you really want to try some really good kimchi, what you should do is go to a Korean grocery store and go to the refrigerated section and they'll usually have like a store brand or something like that where you know it's fresh, it's not something that's been shipped over. Even if uh, the ingredients for the kimchi has been shipped over, it's still a lot better tasting when they put it together fresh and it's not been in a package um, and you don't know how hot or cold or up and down it's been to really affect the texture and overall flavor. Here we go. This one is uh, kimchi from the store brand as well. Let's give it a taste. More spicy, more umami added to that dish from what I've had here. Um, just in case you are wondering if uh, everything I've added is vegan, the kimchi that I have currently in the fridge actually has oysters in it as an ingredient. So even though like I tried to like make it more vegetarian uh, I didn't really uh, I didn't have kimchi that wasn't um, already had some kind of meat added to it and then the uh, the rice seasoning also has like shrimp in it as well but since I already had added something that had oysters in it just decided to go all the way but uh, if you were someone who requires uh, your diet to be vegetarian or vegan if you do buy kimchi, just make sure you look at the ingredients because sometimes there is shrimp, oysters, or other seafood sometimes added to it to uh, boost the umami of it. I also had butter in my saute for these mushrooms. But this is usually have stayed vegetarian. I could have just used olive oil for the mushrooms. I could have had a real um, meat-free kimchi and just not have gone with the, the rice seasoning that had the shrimp in it. And it wouldn't have changed too much. tasty. Um, I will say that it by itself didn't have an extremely kimchi like flavor to it. Um, there was a little bit of a tang to it, a little bit of a spice to it, but uh, I think they could really increase the amount of kimchi flavor that you get in here by itself. You don't have to add huge pieces of cabbage kimchi like I have either. I've had many other kimchi flavored ramens that tasted naturally 
more kimchi like than this one. But overall, I'd say it's a good product to at least start with. Nong Chim Kimchi Ramen. <clears throat> um, I will say that I got this from the UK. So this is big right there. I think that's like a subset of the Nong Chim in the European uh, markets where this size is referred to as the big bowls. See, it doesn't have like the FDA symbols anywhere on there. It has like this little nutritional thing right there. If this were to be sold in the U.S., they'd have to put like a a sticker over that. I think this is in English, Dutch, German, maybe French, something else. What's NL? Netherlands. Maybe it's Netherlands. Does Netherlands have their own language? Hmm. Anyway. I like it the way I've made it. Slightly um, disappointed in the, in the product by itself, but if you uh, are in the UK or other European countries that sell this. It's not bad. You should try it out. If you like shin, but you want to stay on a more vegetarian or less meat diet, it's a good choice. And also easily upgradable. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you liked it. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.